Hey, Kayak Cliff here. I'm out on Lake Whitney in Texas, and uh, just a day trip here from the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, but uh, the Texas legislature said that this lake is the getaway capital of Texas. So they actually designated it a, uh, a getaway lake and just a very popular lake. And it's something I've been wanting to go to for years. Um, so we're gonna paddle it today and I'm gonna take you through here and show you what things there are to do. One thing that's really unique about this lake is it's, uh, it's the Brazos River going through a bunch of limestone cliff areas. So a lot of limestone shoreline makeup, but a lot of cliffs. And uh, you know, certain times of year uh, when the water level's right, there's a ton of cliff diving uh, from lots of different areas on this lake. And uh, so that's one cool thing about it. Uh, the water is, uh, is it, it's, it's a little clearer than some of the lakes around here, but not super clear to where you could do any snorkeling or anything. If you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell for when new videos come out. And uh, if you don't mind, give it a like. Those YouTube al algorithms uh, really uh, play favoritism to the videos that are liked. And uh, I appreciate all your comments out there. And thank you for following me. And here we go to Lake Whitney. For my first trip to Lake Whitney, I figured Walling Bend Park, which is on the southwest side of the lake down by the dam, would be the best place to launch. And uh, when you come in on FM 2841, in Texas FM is farm to market, um, you can make a right before the boat launch, but that was closed due to COVID, but that's where all the cliff diving is. But um, I continued on straight to where the star is at the boat launch, and we launched uh, from there. And uh, upon launching, we headed along the shoreline and made a few stops and then just weaved in and out of all the coves. And all these coves where we are, they have lots of big cliffs. I mean, it's just they're very picturesque. And uh, then it levels out when you get back to the cove, but you can wind up the rivers. And then we came back out to the entrance of the uh, cove, and there's a little rock there that you can swim on and jump off of, and it's pretty cool. There's a lot of boats. Then we headed back to the launch, but after that, you could continue on to the cliff diving area, which during good times, um, I guess non-COVID times, you can jump off a cliff there. So I did not make it over there, but I intend to the next time I get there. If you like exploring lots of different coves and little fingers in the lake, these cliff shorelines, this, this is the place to do it. I tell you, this place is fabulous. Um, really peaceful and tranquil back here. And no wind today, so uh, we're in uh, first weekend of August right now, 2020. So uh, it's a warm one, but not the hottest that we get in Texas. We actually had a cool front came through this weekend and uh, our highs are only like around 92 which for us that's a treat but uh um figured it would be with the low wind and uh not crazy hot it was a good time to get out here and explore this lake i tell you i'm gonna i'm gonna start reaching out and going to more and more lakes and rivers and destinations that i've really wanted to go to but you know they're only like a day trip i'm gonna start doing them more and showing you guys different places to paddle if you're in and around texas uh, but also just take you on uh, some excursions uh, if you're an outdoorsman or outdoors woman and you like to just experience the outdoors and see what we do. Or if you're just an outdoors person and you like to explore the places that I go to, uh, I mean, I don't know about you, but I find it a lot of fun and relaxing to watch people in other states, their biking trips, their paddling trips, their camping trips because, uh, you know, if it's a good video and it's well told, you feel like you're there almost. So it's like a mini vacation. So uh, I'm glad you're here with us today. Wow, this is really cool. It's only blue skies on my horizon line So far from the herd and the bad times I'm feeling so alive, I'm feeling so alive Ah, the 
places you can go in a kayak, or a canoe for that matter. Any small craft. Heading, sometimes it's most fun just to head up these, uh, these fingers to the, uh, to the little creeks that feed it. And uh, we're just exploring up this one to see how far we can go before we head on to the next cove. Up, oh, this looks like it. Under my boat at least that long. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah, it's pretty deep here. But it just, this, this just freaking, this is abruptly stops. Yeah. One thing that's extra cool about this lake is, again, like I said before, the cliffs, they're fabulous. Uh, right now, so far, it looks like, uh, you know, they're, um, looks like they're on the western side of the lake and it's more of a gently sloping you know green trees and pastures on the uh, eastern side of the lake but uh i mean there's just miles of coves and cliff shoreline that you can paddle on this lake got a little warm so time for a dip and get wet your wet clothes feel like a uh makes it feel like you have an air conditioner on so a, a real good approach when it's nice and hot Ew, gross. That was a pretty deer too. Must have uh, must have recently died because there's no smell yet. I tell you, it's already bloated. That's pretty grody, but it doesn't smell. That 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 thing's gonna be unbearable uh, later this afternoon. Vultures were already working on it. Sorry to see that. A bit pretty deer. We're winding our way up King Creek now. And again, this, this creek is one of the bigger creeks or bigger fingers. And uh, we, we got to this by just coming out of Walling Bend Park and turning left or going westerly. And uh, this is just one of the biggest fingers that you come to. And just massive cliffs. And uh, we're exploring back here now, uh, kind of passing a little marina for a home development here. But, uh, um, we were talking to some locals here that uh, lived up in Dallas and retired down here 20 years ago, and they're out uh, just uh, floating off the back of their boat, drinking beers and enjoying themselves. And they said that uh, this whole lake is filled with fingers that you can explore that are just protected from the winds and things like that. So uh, you know, right now the lake is a foot high, and uh, you know this lake, it's an Army Corps of Engineer lake, so it's not constant level. It's, it's gonna, you know, in drought conditions, it's super low. And, uh, you know, right now it's a foot high. We're not in drought conditions. So it's a beautiful time to be here. All this limestone here harkens me back to the Suwannee River trip that we have a two episode uh, video series on. So if you haven't checked out the Suwannee River video, check it out. But uh, the reason it reminds me of the Suwannee River trip is all the limestone. And they had some limestone cliffs and shorelines there that were just riddled with holes and, you know, where ferns were growing out of them and uh, just a real pretty place. But all this weathered limestone on the shorelines here kind of reminds me of it. We're still up here in uh, King's Creek Finger. We've just went up to the end and we've turned around and we're heading back out now. So uh, spectacular views.
Hey, we put up on the shoreline here. There's the boats right there looking out over the lake. And then there's, there's a rock out there we're going to go jump on uh, right there. And it's out in the middle of the lake. So we're going to go jump on that. And uh, But anyway, taking a second, uh, found some shade here. Nice shoreline, grabbed some lunch. But I just wanted to say the um, kind of the history of this lake. It was It's an Army Corps of Engineer lake which means the Army built it, Army Corps of Engineers built it for, uh, you know, mainly flood control. And then also as the cities in Texas grew uh, for, um, you know, for, for water, because that's where we get all of our water. Um, so, you know, there's not any houses right on the water, which are nice, they're up on the little cliffs. So they have to be, there has to be a certain barrier, but it's the Brazos River that travels through here. And that Brazos River starts way out in West Texas comes through here it comes through a lot of different lakes and dams well Lake Whitney is just one of those on its path down to the Gulf and it was uh, in 1946 I think I read on the internet they commissioned the building of this lake and it was finished in 1951 and uh, again as I've been showing you just a really cool lake and definitely a destination I'm going to be coming to a lot more in the future well, when we came by this rock this morning, it was like one boat. And uh, now it's just full of boats. So you can tell this is a gathering spot and a popular place for swimming and, and jumping. Boy, that was a fun dip jumping off that rock there. Um, I think next time I need to bring some rope to tie up the kayak. So if you do that, bring something so you can tie up the kayak. I don't think you're going to be dropping an anchor because it's pretty darn deep there. But uh, to tie a little piece of rope around a rock to hold your kayaks, you could go up and down and jump off of that till your heart's content. We're going to wind it down here. We're going to head back to the... Uh, to the uh to the truck and load up the kayaks but uh, i just want to do a short day trip out here and show you another lake uh and uh, just take you on a little adventure even though it's a small one no camping this time but uh i certainly recommend coming out to lake whitney this is a great spot and there's a lot of other great spots too but this is a a definite one that you want to hit uh we only explored a very small portion of the lake so Hey, when you're out paddling, remember to pick and paddle. Fill up a um, bag of garbage, bring it back with you, make the environment a better place. And if you want some pick and paddle stickers, you can order them at kayakcliff.com and uh, just spread that message. But, um, you know, safe, safe adventuring, folks. When you're out there this summer, have fun, get out there, get fit. Do what you like to do outdoors, but just get out and get fit and uh, safe adventuring to y'all. Kayak Cliff out.